All right. Hello, everybody. It's Dr. Conroy here once again. And today I'm bringing you an update of the layout, which um, for those of you who don't follow my Instagram, as you can see, quite a bit has changed. Like, yeah, where did all of this come from? <laughs> well, as I say, I'll take you through the updates as we go. With the biggest elephant in the room being this. While well, I was on holiday in Wales, I did get a small station, but then I added it onto these. And these are two platform nine and three quarters kits. And they're just combined together to make a longer station for a way to accommodate longer trains. Like, as you can see, there's Gordon right there, and he's got the Pullmans. And you can just about fit the whole train on without overrunning the platform or underrunning it or anything. I've also set up all the people at the station to make it look busy. And as I move it around, as I like to really give the impression that it's a TARDIS. There's the police box right there. Which, if any of you have seen my Instagram post, um, I think I spooked Thomas out a little with that one. <laughs> and speaking of Thomas, there he is over there, socialising with Percy and James. And as well as the third line, uh, I've really moved things around a little. So it should be come over here. And I only got points going that way like I did before, but now I've got them going that way as well. So it won't matter which way my engine's come in from now. I can just uh, do that or that without having to reverse. I did have to move those points there, back there in order to make room for it all. Being able to fit it all on and shorten the sidings a little bit, I can still fit plenty. Like, because there's Edward and Toby right there, and there's the Helgen diesel that I bought from Rails of Sheffield. And that was just shunting the trucks into the good shed. I'm about to redo the good shed at some point because it came with at least two sets of stickers, and as you can see, these are like peeling off and I will admit that's really not been the best handle but it was my first time handling one of these kits so maybe I missed something and as far as updates also go over at least go one of these sets of points but I need to get more to set up some more siding so I've not just got these tracks laid out to keep engines and rolling stock on and at the moment, I've got Flying Scotsman there, and the Hogwarts Express right there. And I've also scattered the workers around to make it look like a bit as a section of the, the business section of the layout. And now for the most recent new arrivals who were from Tootley Thomas once again. And they are in fact Donald and Douglas. I was very happy to receive these as there was a slight delay, but at least they got to me safely and they both work fine. And like all the Batman models, were just very nice looking models. My only gripe there would be that perhaps it'd be nice if they could make this cab section open. That way, it provides a bit of a better um, way to fit figures in. But there's at least enough space in the tender, so that'll do for putting figures on. And while I have a double gauge master controller here in this one, I plan to um, get the quadruple unit, so I could well end up selling this one off. And that believe it's now also got, it's probably moving back a bit there really. Um, three sets of signals to accommodate the line, or lines rather, because 
I got these two, that one. I mean, you don't really need other controls for this, but you've also got the lines which um, goes around the outside of the station, so engines can couple up behind or from the front. And speaking of engines, I've got the Batman Mallard right here. It's a very nice looking model, this one, I think. And this was another Rails of Sheffield purchase, along with the diesel. One of the coaches right here. And if we just come under the layout for a moment in order to give you guys a better look. Well, I got those, I also got the pet Royal Mail coaches and my brother got this, which is actually the real life Donald and Douglas. And <clears throat> when you compare them, it really shows. And this one's also my brother's, um, the Silver Link. And he purchased that in Wales, the same time I got Gordon James. Um, King William the Fourth, right there, and uh, a few bits of scenery, such as the police box. And I might have said in my previous video how I had two engines sent off for repairing. They've come back to me now, and they're in good working order, so that's quite good. So yeah. That's the update on the layout thus far. Of course, scenery will be coming, and this is definitely only temporary of these tracks. Once I set the sidings up, I can keep more engines. And I'm also thinking of having shelves set up on the walls. And under here is storage container, perhaps, for other engines as well as rolling stock and most definitely a narrow gauge line will be coming so i'll have to decide what to do about the road as i'll have to of course make some space but for now that's that one uh, much like the last model railway video um i'll give you guys a little montage of them running around to music and sound effects once again but for now that's that one i hope you've enjoyed seeing this little update on what my railway has to offer at the moment and until the next time this is dr conroy signing out <laughs>